Hello, I've been uh, asked to do a video of my latest build. Uh, so this is the Berlin clock. Um, it's a copy of the Berlin clock and it's made mainly out of 3mm uh, or 1 8 plywood. Um, I'm just going to quickly explain how you read the time. The top row here is hours but 5 hours, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20. This is 1 hour, so it's 21 hours or 9pm. And then you've got 5 minutes, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37 minutes. So it's 9.37. Um, and I've tried to keep it original. So you've got two LEDs in each one of these because that's what the original clock looks like it has. Um, and the red and the yellow is correct. So just showing you around the back, you've got the Arduino Nano driving everything. You've got a real-time clock, which is the DS1307, and you've got three serial shift registers, uh, the 595. Uh, as you can see, I've got four buttons and one switch. Um, if you flick it to switch, it then enables the buttons. You've got hour, a minute, plus or minus. Um, so I'll quickly run it through a few sequences by uh, driving that so you can see what happens. So I'm adding minutes here, and you can see it's one, two, three, four, five, so it increments the next line up and then at the end of this one you'll see it jump up to the next line because we've added another hour. Uh, because it's 24 hour clock what you will see at the next increment of the hour that 23 hours is the maximum it will ever go to so you won't see 24 hours because it resets to zero um, and that's going to take about Another few seconds. The top uh, light is uh, one second pulse on and one second pulse off. Uh, again, I think that's how the original should be. So you're seeing the whole sequence here, and that's 45, sorry, 50, 55, and there we go. So I've overshot that a bit. So that is my Berlin clock.